What's up, agents? Jetforth here. And yeah, do not sleep on this build, agents. Oh my goodness gracious, is it powerful and it melts everything down. Now, I do have some options for you guys when it comes to this because I'm using two different rifles and two different sniper rifles with it. Actually, one sniper rifle. But I have an option for you in case you haven't gotten the Nemesis yet. The new version the level 40 version anyways for my two primary weapons i am swapping between an m1a and an mk17 the mk17 has bread basket on it and is capable of hitting headshots over 2 million which is pretty awesome for an mk17 now obviously you can use whatever rifle you are comfortable with this i just personally prefer the mk17 when i throw that on it's mainly because we're in tight quarters and it is a lot easier to use than the m1a and it has a lot of staggering power, I guess you would call it, for when you get shield rushers, baton ladies, and so on and so forth. When there's long distances and stuff like that and you can hang out in the back, that is when I'm using my M1A. The M1A can body shot for over a million very easily with how I have this build set up, and the headshots are pushing upwards to three million. If you crit with a headshot, it's over three million. As for my sniper that I'm mainly using now is the Nemesis, which I got the other day from my buddy Zombie Pyro. And the Nemesis can hit if you do it just right at 8 million damage headshots my goodness gracious however if you do not have a nemesis use the hunting m44 because that is also a very powerful and awesome sniper and it will hit for over 4 million headshots so that's pretty awesome too which is actually 300,000 over what the actual sharpshooter specialization can do which yeah we're back to that again I guess but all in all this build absolutely shreds and melts every everything down. I do have a fair amount of really high rolls on the armor, but overall no exotic pieces other than the nemesis, so this should come together for you rather easily and get you pretty much immediately into heroic, or at least make challenging a breeze for you until you start getting some higher rolls. And with them finally acknowledging that the scaling in this game and how difficult it can be at times and they are going to retune it, this build is only a going to get better. Like a fine wine with age. Shut up, Jet. If you would like to see extended gameplay of this build, there's about a five hour stream that is posted right before this video of me using it all night long. Two manning heroics and open world shenanigans and other stuff like that, so that's all I got. Anyways, I am going to go ahead and shut up and not babble anymore. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that other junk. It'd be awesome to hit 20k subscribers soon. Love you all. And let's just get into the build, shall we? Alrighty, for our specialization, we will be using the sharpshooter. I'm sure there is no surprise there. For the 15% increased headshot damage with rifles and marksman rifles allows for precision kills. Breath control, 15% increased weapon stability, reduced recoil and faster requis requisition I can say that of targets emergency cleanse armor kits repair 100% remove status effects and increases resistance to bleed poison and burn for 20 seconds and by this point I'm sure you are asking yourself dude why you're reading all of this out and that is because there are a lot of new players and a bunch of this stuff has changed so if you don't like it go ahead and skip ahead no problem won't hurt my feelings maybe maybe it will sharpshooter tactical link all group members that are closer to enemies then you get 10% headshot damage which generally everybody is going to be closer than you are my home is my castle extra armor gained while in cover and finally round after round after 20 seconds in cover you start generating five marksmen and five rifle ammo every 10 seconds which this is great because yeah stuff and things and then finally you have your 50% pulse resistance and the other thing depending on if you have the nemesis or not is the digital scope that comes with this because that will give you 45% headshot damage for your regular marksman rifle that is a 12 times scope even though it doesn't say what it is but it's 12 times so yeah that's it on to weapons, which I will just throw both of these up on screen together. For my military MK-17, total damage 298,275 RPM and a 30 mag. I have an extended mag on there. I would suggest you use that as well. Core attributes, rifle damage, critical hit damage. Regular attribute, a damage to armor, and then I have a bread basket on this. The landing body shots adds a stack of bonus plus 35% headshot damage to the next headshot for 10 seconds. Max stack is 3. So this 
this is actually really good for these high rate fire rifles because I don't know about you, I have pretty bad aim and yeah, spamming and then getting a headshot, that puts you at 2 million with this build. As for my M1A, it is 532,000.2k total damage, 180 RPM and a 15 mag size. Core attributes, rifle damage and crit hit damage, regular attribute, health damage. I'd rather see damage to armor there, but... RNG, RNG, RNG. And then for my talent on here, it is Ranger. Amplifies weapon damage by 2% for every 5 meters you are away from your target. And this is actually really good on here because we are going to be sitting in the back or keeping our distance from the enemies and whatnot, depending on if you play in a group or if you're by yourself because, you know, people love rushing, especially randoms. Love you guys. Now we do have to talk about the scope for a minute because we do have to use the CQ BSS scope. We have to use the A-time scope because of the talientes we are using on our chest piece and this gives you plus 30 percent headshot damage some people say that it doesn't i'm not sure because you know math i'm not good at it lucky enough to get the scope it isn't a random drop you get this from the dc 62 lab quarantine side mission in the main game so you can just go and pick it up if you're a new player and skip ahead and whatever you can just go get this that's it on to our Snippety Sniper Marksman Rifles. The first one, if you do not have the Nemesis, I would suggest, highly recommend, highly, highly recommend using the Hunting M44. Total damage, 833.9k damage, 58 RPM, and mag size 5. For my core attributes, God Rolled Marksman Rifle damage, and God Rolled Headshot damage. Regular attributes, a critical hit chance. As for my Talientes on here, I have Ignited, deal plus 20% weapon damage to burn burning enemies. After four kills, applies burning to the next enemy. This is just kind of what I ended up with, how this dropped and rolled, but it was good for me because, once again, my buddy Zombie Pyro, who gave me the nemesis, is always using burn damage and I generally always play with him, so that's actually really good for me. I would suggest also getting Ranger here if you don't play with somebody with the last name of Pyro. As for the scope you are going to want to use on this, it would be the digital scope that comes with the specialization because it gives you plus 45% headshot damage and negative 5% crit hit damage, which really isn't that big of a deal, I guess. Which again, this is a 12 times scope. I did try and test it out because I really don't like the CQBSS scope. I really wish they would put a dot in the middle of the reticle so you know exactly where your headshot is but is what it is come on massive help us out and as for the marksman rifle that i am now using is the nemesis total damage 1.9 million 50 rpm and a 5 mag size core attributes marksman rifle damage and headshot damage regular attribute critical hit chance now this does work pretty much the same as it did before electromagnetic accelerator shots fired deal 0 to 100 percent weapon damage based on how long the trigger is held before releasing the one difference now that i have noticed with this is that you can hold the trigger down for a lot longer without it popping off its shot so i am quite thankful for that actually, because it makes it a lot easier to use. Now, the way that we acquired this was on hard Roosevelt Island, and it just dropped, so I would suggest farming there, and it dropped from a random NPC. Now, if you are a new player, you are going to have to go through the entire little quest fetch line thing that you have to do to initially unlock this me being the terrible youtuber that i am i never did a full video on it but there are a lot of videos out there how to get each piece but it takes a while unfortunately and once again thank you to zombie pyro for dropping this for me because yeah it was awesome and let me tell you dude owes me because i gave him half the stuff to make it spell zombie and as for my sidearm i am using an x45 with core attribute Pistol damage, obviously, and attribute a reload speed. Talent, lucky shot. In all seriousness, we are probably never going to use this on this build, but yeah use whatever you want here this is just what i threw on because why not Alrighty, finally on to armor for my mask i am using a sheshka viobra sro for the plus 10 percent critical hit chance core attributes 15 percent weapon damage god rolled and hazard protection god rolled let me tell you i love hazard protection on here because of well how low our armor is if you get hit with fire to make a long story short you are dead if you're in heroics anyways critical hit chance and as for my mod slot, it is burn resistance, which 
in all honesty, depending on what level you were playing, you might want to swap that around between shock resistance and so on and so forth. So kind of play around with that. Next up, we have the chest piece, which I am using an overlord armaments, which we are using two pieces for the plus 10% rifle damage and the plus 10% accuracy. Core attribute, weapon damage, regular attributes, a critical hit chance, and critical hit damage. As for my mod, I put headshot damage here. Now, as for my talientes on here, we are using focused, which let me tell you people are sleeping on this and this is amazing for marksman rifles and regular rifles increase total weapon damage by five percent every second you are aiming while scoped eight times or higher up to 50 percent which yeah you can watch the little icon underneath your little bar going up every second you are scoped in some nifty things about focused is is that it doesn't automatically go away the second you descope. you have about a second second and a half also you can continually hold down the trigger while you're reloading and it will still keep it at the full 50 percent so you can throw down some serious damage with this let me tell you and this is why we're also using the CQB SS scope, which I seriously don't like, but I am starting to get used to it because you need eight times or higher, and that is the only eight times scope you can use. And if you put a 12 times scope on regular rifles, at it's just you're way too far zoomed in so now unfortunately focus does not work with the nemesis but in all seriousness it doesn't need it because you would probably be hitting for around 10 11 million and that would just be way too op but hey is what it is what are you gonna do on to our holster which we will be using three pieces of eraldi holdings for the plus 10 percent marksman rifle damage plus 10 percent headshot damage and plus five percent damage to armor as for our core Core attribute on this wonderful piece, it is weapon damage, god rolled attributes, god rolled armor regeneration, which I am kind of becoming a fan of having a little bit of this on every build because yeah, I like it. And as for my mod slot, it is some more crit hit chance. On to the backpack, which is our second piece of Eraldi holdings, which does a bunch of stuff and things. Core attribute, weapon damage, attributes, skill haste. I like to have something else there, probably some more crit hit chance. I don't know. Some more armor regeneration and for my mod slot more headshot damage as for the talent it is composure while in covered increase total weapon damage by 15 percent which is a must-have gloves which is our third piece of eraldi holdings core attributes 15 percent weapon damage regular attributes weapon handling and headshot damage pretty straightforward and finally knee pads which is our second piece of overlord armaments which these are the named fox's prayer core attribute 15% weapon damage, and these roll automatically with 15% damage to target out of cover, god rolled, which is great. And then some crit hit chance. And finally, 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 for my skills, I am using a Ze Reviver Hive, which is really good. Because again, we are really squishy. We are only rocking 678.5k armor, which is not very good, but being a snip a sniper, you can sit all the way in the back and just hammer on everything which is great and then i am also using the reinforcer chem launcher for some extra heals it doesn't give us that much healing but it's better than nothing now when it comes to the dark zone so i have been told you are going to want to throw a firefly on here instead of the reviver hive because you are just going to smack people with this and you are going to make other rogue agents or whatever agents very unhappy with that first shot and how hard you actually hit them once again though they are going to readjust the TTK in the dark zone so it probably won't be quite so bad but I'm pretty sure this is going to be beyond evil as long as you can aim unlike me and yeah and stuff and things but other than that my wonderful friends and agents that is pretty much it for the build like I said man I would definitely throw this together for the most part it is a pretty simple build to throw together I mean you can just go farm some Araldi and some overlord armaments even if you don't use the shishka blah, 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 whatever everything mask it's uh it's pretty ridiculous i know there are people be like you need more crit hit chance you need more crit 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 but personally i kind of like the headshot damage there because i want to know that it's not a chance and that i am just going to hit them insanely hard when i get that shot and i know there's a lot of other people that can aim a hell of a lot better than i can so you know 
is what it is. What are you going to do? Either way, uh, let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section down below. Uh, I did just put out a post that like last month I got somewhere around like 10,000 plus comments and it is becoming increasingly hard to comment back to everybody. I still do read every comment and everything. I try to do my best to reply to people's questions and stuff like that when it comes to suggestions for the build. I do also keep those in mind because this is one of the builds that I'm going to hang on to and probably if I can get a solid four team group together will be taking into legendary so I am all about suggestions just keep in mind some of the stuff on here and everybody building is that RNG is still a pretty big factor in here when it comes to be being able to roll on certain attributes or talents and stuff like that so but either way I am done babbling because this video has gone on way too long do me a favor and smish it to smash that old like button for me that would be amazing subscribe and all that other junk and i will catch you all on the flip side peace